All right, guys. So welcome to another AAA AMA. This is the first one of 2023. So I hope everybody had time to uh, relax, to spend time with the family, disconnect from crypto, and you know, just spend some quality time with uh, your families. And uh, and uh, hope the new year is going to be uh, better for everybody, for crypto and uh, the entire space. So guys, today on today's episode, as you can see, we're, there's going to be a lot of stuff. So. Uh, we're going to start off by describing uh, the medium article that was put out a few uh, a few days ago concerning the early punks wallet and the game uh, we're going to talk about the proposal about removing the restake starting on march 7th on uh, the punks wallets um, today we also took a crew three snapshot for uh, the loonies whitelist so the top 15 of the crew three just got their whitelist i put in the announcement so uh, whoever got tagged it would be a good idea to start sending me the addresses the Tory addresses for, for that whitelist. We're also going to go over the ONFT treasure hunt that we collabed with uh, the Owlies, which is starting on uh, Monday. Uh, we also have a special guest in EJ from the, the Space Skelly, so I'm excited about that. The, their collection is red hot right now on Stargaze. Um, and after uh, the special guest, we're going to have a special announcement from uh, Superman concerning the MetaWawa collection. And uh, obviously, at the end of all this, we're going to move over to the voice channel and uh, go through the gigantic lottery, which is today for the Tory punks. So uh, before we get started, uh, Superman, if you could just do a quick overview of our, the sales of our collections uh, on uh, Territory and Stargaze. Absolutely. All right. So uh, like usual, we're going to start off with the, the Wawa punks. We're at 956,000 stars in total volume. If we move over to the Cyber Wawas. We're at 496,000 stars in total volume. Uh, what's interesting here is the floor price is, uh, the floor is very thin with the Cyber Wawas. There's only three Cyber Wawas right under 30,000 stars. After that, the floor would probably bump up to around 50,000 stars. That's pretty amazing. Uh, if we move over to the Cyber Wawa Zombies, we're at 533,000 stars in total volume. Uh, the floor price for the regular uh, the regular zombies is at 7,500 stars. And what's very interesting here is the floor price of the rare zombies. There's only three rare zombies left on the market. The cheapest one is at 70,000 stars. And after that, we're going in the millions as a floor price for, for the rare zombies. Uh, if we go to our uh, infamous story punks, we're at 64,000 in total volume. The floor price is sitting at 150 stories we expect this volume to really start ramping up uh, with the start of the early punks games uh, starting soon and last but not least we're gonna go over the tory punk comic books we're at fifty thousand dollars in volume the floor price is sitting at about twenty dollars a piece uh, just a reminder you guys still have time until the march snapshot to go uh, complete your sets uh, gg is going to give you guys more information about uh, how many sets were completed up until now uh, just a quick update on the Reaper Tech news. Uh, honestly, there's a there's a lot been going on behind the scenes. Uh, there's not much I could reveal right now until uh, stuff is complete. I don't want to give you guys uh, information right away, so we'll keep that for uh, future AMAs. So I'm gonna let Gigi uh, give you guys uh, all the updates of uh, what's been going on. All right, thank you, Superman. So uh, I'm gonna go over the early punks game progression since. Um... The, the, wall, the early punks wallet was created on January 7th. So I'm just going to go over the Medium article that came out, make sure everybody understands and uh, uh, make sure everybody knows how the game functions. So uh, the Tory Punk comic books NFTs uh, were dropped on the 23rd of December, 2022. And with that, with that airdrop, it means that the early punks game is uh, fast approaching. So on January 7th, we created the wallet with 60% of the staking rewards from the punks wallet that got put into the early wallet. And, uh, and that wallet was officially created. So you guys can go and look in Discord. We have a channel where you can see everything that we do with the wallets for 100% transparency. So if you guys want to go look at it, it's uh, the early punks wallet. So, um, so the Tory uh, tokens have started compounding from January 7th, and it's going to be compounding on the restake uh, up until March 7th uh, for the snapshot of the comic book holders. Uh, the restake will then be removed on March 7th to allow the distribution of the staking rewards to the holders of the comic books NFTs without having to wait the 21-day unbonding period. Uh, this, by the way, guys, was voted in uh, 
in the announcements in the Discord from the community in an overwhelming majority. So there was a total of 30,092 comic books that were airdropped to the holders. And there was approximately 618 copies of each comic book. So there was 618 of number one, number two, three, four, and five. And uh, there's only a possibility of 618 complete sets that are possible. So to, to have a full set, it's five, the five comic books plus one Tory Punk held in a wallet. So now if you guys wanted to know what the requirements were to receive these comic books, it was the Minters Equals Winners contest. And if you go in the Medium article, uh, uh, you can find that the, the second Medium article concerning all that. So Superman, I don't know if you can post it in the, in the general, if possible. So, uh, so how does it work for the game in order to participate in the early punks game, which is starting on March 7th? So you'll need to collect a full set of Tory Punk comic books, number one, two, three, four, and five, and hold it in a wallet with a Tory Punk. Any Tory Punk, minted or not, held in that wallet with the full set of comics, it's eligible for the snapshot. So the snapshot and the beginning of the early punks game, which is coming up really quickly, is going to be on March 7th, 2023. And you'll need to be holding the full set of comics plus one Tory Punk in your wallet up until the April 7, 2023 second snap, uh, snapshot. So now if you were if you were in the first and the second snapshot, you're eligible to receive 80% of the staking rewards from the early Punk's wallet for that, that period. So from March 7th to April 7th, the rewards generated in that month, 80% are distributed equally between all of those that hold the five comic books and uh, the Tory Punk. The other 20% is going to be compounded in the wallet so that the wallet keeps growing. Um, then from this point on, there's gonna be monthly snapshots on every seventh of the month. And we're gonna distribute the rewards uh, once a month to everybody that's holding the, the full comic book sets. So that's uh, pretty much it for the comics. I was actually able to receive an estimate of the number of eligible wallets so far. I know you guys have been asking uh, how many wallets uh, are so far out of the 618 have completed the set? So guys, it's just a little over 50% that seem to have completed. Now, this is just an estimate. Obviously, things can change. People can sell, uh, switch them around. So, uh, so far, we have 343 eligible wallets that are holding the five comic books plus the Tory Punk. Also, guys, uh, there's only one full set of comics that's eligible per wallet. So if you complete two sets of comic books, You'll need to hold them in separate wallets and the same process goes for multiple sets so if you're going to complete four five six sets they need to be in five different wallets with a tory punk in each um so that's for the the early punks game so obviously the the reason we're removing the restake is to uh, per, uh, to let a better flow of the rewards because the 21 days on bonding period can be quite long so uh the community uh, would prefer receiving the rewards earlier than later um, we also took today the, the Crew 3 snapshot for the Looney's whitelist. So you guys, if you can submit me your addresses as fast as possible, uh, that would be great. We were also running the, the Humans um, whitelist on Rumbles uh, these last couple of days, plus the, the giveaway collab. So those are done as well. So if you guys can submit, uh, submit your Stargaze addresses as quickly as possible, I'd appreciate it. And uh, there's also an event starting on Monday, guys, where I opened uh, a channel. It's called the O NFT Treasure Hunt. So if you guys go in there, just react with an emoji to my message, and I'll give you guys a special role, which is going to be the Treasure Hunters. And uh, after the 16, when the puzzle starts, I'm going to close the channel to only those that have that role. And those are going to be the only people that will be able to participate. Once that starts, so we're going to try and... Uh, come up with a strategy or something for, for that wallet. So we'll have plenty of time to do that uh, starting on Monday. And uh, um, yeah, well, with all that said, uh, I think we kept our guest waiting long enough. So uh, uh, hey, Gia, how's it going? Hey, how are you guys doing? We're good, man. We're good. Uh, obviously, uh, we know that your collection is actually uh, doing really well right now on Stargaze and a bunch of our community is actually invested in the project itself. And uh, uh, obviously, we want to know uh, what's going on with the collection, what's with all the hype. And uh, and uh, yeah, if you can give us a, a bit of a background about uh, what are the Space Kellys, where you guys come from, uh, the team and, and all that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, first off, condolences to you and your 
you said that's your brother, you and your brother, and uh, yeah, passing of, thanks. passing thanks, of your father. Um, yeah, I hope you guys get through the next week, two weeks. I know it's pro- probably uh, surreal at the moment. Um, so condolences thanks. to that. But as far as in regards to Space Skellies, um, <clears throat> so Space Skellies, we started on Terra. We were building over there. We hadn't minted yet, um, but we were getting ready to. And then the DPEG happened. So we were homeless for a while trying to figure out where do we go? What do we do? Um, we actually ended up looking into Solana and Solana wasn't really what we wanted to go with. Um, and then we looked into Polygon and we had actually looked at Stargaze for a little bit, but Stargaze at the time hadn't had anything being developed. So what our vision was didn't align with the tech that was with that Stargaze had available. So we went to Polygon and then everyone started coming to Polygon. Um, However, we had a grant with one planet. So we were one of the first non-minted collections to receive a grant. And we were the number one most anticipated collection to launch on Polygon. But we waited, uh, I was like six, seven months. They kept pushing, pushing it back, pushing it back to when we could launch So then we decided we're just going to, we can't wait wait anymore. Our community has been waiting forever. And then we moved over to Stargaze. Uh, Very happy we did so far. Um, I am starting to get up to the limitations again of the tech that they can offer. Um, So that is becoming something that has been in the talks. Uh, But as far as why we've been moving and everything that's been pumping, um, we've had a lot of things that have been released, such as uh, we have the only validator lottery script on Stargaze. So if you guys have a validator on Stargaze, we have custom scripts that are being written. Uh, it's all worked in on the back end. And then we have the first batch payment tool as well for these are real products. And then with the uh, the space skellies, you guys have been able to receive, you receive elixirs every month. The elixirs floor price is 900 or 1,000. Um, you receive one elixir for every two skellies you hold. Uh, for every 30 days some people are receiving 5 10 20 elixirs a month so they're re- they're receiving literally 10 20 thousand stars uh, per month then we had our space doodles airdrop mint uh, which is completely free for the holders and that actually just surpassed a hundred thousand volume um, a few days ago and that how that went is that was a gamified mint where all the funds went back to the uh, to the holders. It actually cost us three thousand dollars to do it. It actually cost the project to do it, but we gave money back during Christmas. Um, and since then, we have we have a lot coming out. Um, we've talked a little bit with everyone, um, but we do have we've kind of hinted at it. But we do have our own custom staking DAP that's being created. One of the first ones, or the first one on uh, stargaze as of now so um, our devs are pretty amazing uh, you'll be able to do an endless amount of uh, options and everything within the dap uh, we have the space skellies og collection um, our next collection will lead into where these elixirs are burned so the elixirs you earn every month they are burned for a spaceship and that spaceship is an evil skelly so it's like an unopened pack of cards you can choose to open the spaceship and see which evil skelly you have received, or you can choose to just sell that skelly on secondary. Um, but we actually have something that we can't release yet that is even better. Um, it, if everything goes as planned and Stargaze can support the front end indexing with their website, which currently they can't, so we're going to have to see what they can do. Um, we are going to have something that's just going to blow the market out of the water and everyone's just, go- instead of releasing multiple collections, it's going to be, it's just going to be phenomenal of what we can do. Um, so we're really pushing the tech limitations on Stargaze. Uh, we may have to build things ourselves, whether Stargaze would give us community funds to do that or not. We're not sure. Um, but anyways, we have all that going and then we have released what we have called, um, ignition labs and at the lab you will send your evil skelly so after you have went through the first process so you go from an og skelly and then you get a your elixirs you get your spaceship and then you have an evil skelly so that's the beginning process of how this whole vision is going Um, and then we have ignition labs where we have the doctors that are we have a whole lore that's being released but at ignition labs you'll send in your evil skelly um, with energy minerals plus something else that we can't release. 
and then the doctor works on your evil skelly. You do not lose your evil skelly, um, but these energy minerals and everything else, um, these can be purchased in our DAP. So the DAP currency is not tokenomics. You don't have to worry about anyone dumping or pumping. Uh, the DAP currency that all plays into effect um, from staking on the DAP is, like I said, you get well, you'll get tokens and things like that, which we don't want to release all this information too soon. But it'll all be on the DAP. Um, and then from there, you send it to the ignition labs. The doctors work there. Um, and you get an incredible um, something that comes out of the lab that plays into the next part of our lore. Um, and then the last thing we have released is called the Boneyard. The Boneyard is our gaming hub. We actually released our first mini game around Christmas just for fun. But within the Boneyard, you'll have hopefully when we release it, full blown release will be seven to ten mini games in there. I mean, within these mini games, you'll be able to earn. You can be someone who likes to earn the energy minerals, or if you don't have time, you could just buy energy minerals. Uh, some people like to earn them and play. Uh, others don't have time and they would prefer to just buy them off secondary. Um, but this does give users a way to earn them and make additional compensation on the back end if they sell them on the market. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot coming. There's so much being built, but right now we have to figure out, it comes down to what can Stargaze support? Like what can we build over here? Um, and that's really, that's really the ins and outs of where we're headed. And there is... And then we have some huge partnerships that are going to get dropped and released, but I will leave that for a different day. Um, but yeah, that's why that's why the floor, uh, just to give you perspective, we launched on the day of FTX. So after going through the DPEG and everything, out of all the days I could have picked to launch, we launched 30 minutes prior to FTX. Uh, CZ releasing that tweet about FTX collapsing. Um, and we mint it out about 40% within an hour or within 30 minutes or so. And once FTX released that or CZ released it and then FTX was commenting, um, everything just hit a standstill. Space skellies were selling for 200 stars and today floor is 2,400 stars. Um, so we've done fairly well. Um, we've had an incredible community that has always trusted us and we've always been super transparent with them. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that's space skelly's in and out and that's a big rundown. I know it's a lot of information to consume, but that is, that's the vision. Um, and that's where we're headed. Well, that, uh, pretty much explains why, uh, <laughs> uh the space skellies are doing so well, though. That's a crazy roadmap. And, uh, obviously you don't want to prom promise too much ahead of time, but, uh, now the, the users in our community are quite savvy and, uh, you know, in our in our Discord, we don't mind uh, people posting uh, NFTs of other collections that they're minting. We actually enjoy uh, seeing what everybody's minting every day. We try to get a bit of every project to to make our project better. And uh, the Cosmos, uh, it's pretty fun that all the communities they get together, they they partner, collab together to to try and engage the communities to participate in multiple communities. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, your project sounds absolutely great. And uh, I actually own a couple myself, so I just received a couple of elixirs, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the spaceships and the evil skellies and and, and all that. Um, pretty cool, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, enjoy all those airdrops uh, we've been given to the community. And once again, the evil skellies are uh, there will be a very slight cost to uh, to be able to bomb them or burn the spaceships to receive the evil skellies. It's going to be like three dollars or five dollars because we've been giving so we were talking about this the other day but we've been giving so much to the community that we haven't generated you know at at the end of the day a project has to create capital um so we were looking at that and what we could do but we didn't want to just keep minting new collections like that's not what we want to do um for now if it's possible um but i'll leave i gotta leave that there and leave it generic because if we can't get the tech supported, we don't have an option except mint, minting new collections. But I really hope that Stargaze can implement what's needed in a timely manner where we're not going to be sitting here waiting month after month for an update. Because, um, yeah, they had mutable contracts coming out. So dynamic NFT type metadata changes. But they how they were implementing it, it still wasn't enough. Um, like metadata changes are one thing, but it still wasn't enough for what we need. And once, so once again, you're pushing 
like they thought their new updates were good, but like we need something more advanced than that update. Um, but anyways, that's that's that. I can't like you said, I can't give it too detailed right now. No, but it's fine that Ben, you know, the projects that are pushing uh, projects like Stargaze to be better and to grow and all that, uh, this is what we need in the ecosystem, right? And uh, we actually minted at the same time as you with the uh, Cyber Wawa Zombies. Um, our collection was much smaller than yours. So uh, we got lucky that we sold out uh, really quickly on it. But uh, yeah, uh, with the DPEG and everything and launching collections in the bear market uh, is not easy. And uh, we actually launched in November uh, the Tory Punks uh, 10K uh, piece collection. and. Uh, you know, it took a few days to mint out and uh, highly incentivized. And I feel like the NFT collections, they really need to uh, lift the bar higher for for the next projects that are going to follow. Because uh, uh, like just us ourselves, the Tory Punks, uh, 70% of the funds of the mint were given back to the holders for their DAOs and uh, the, the lottery wallets. So, you know, we're giving out a lot of rewards uh, every single uh, month. And uh, last month we gave away to the gigantic lottery winner uh, 20,000 Tories. Uh, today's gigantic lottery, guys, I still haven't told you, but it's uh, the winner is going to get 17,580 Tories today. So uh, that's pretty cool, man. And I don't know of a lot of projects giving uh, massive rewards like that. Uh, we also have the early punks game uh, wallet uh, uh, that's uh, starting on March 7th, where we're going to distribute uh, rewards monthly between all the people that are hold the set. So, yeah, I think our projects uh, are really raising the bar for, for the projects that are going to follow. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to, to add, DJ, or else uh, we'll uh, move over to the questions from the, the community? No, I don't got anything to add, but I 100% agree. We got to keep a do more, do better. That's what I always say. What's next? Do more, do better. And we can't just, uh, if NFTs are to survive another bear market or go through anything, they have to become more than just a PFP. Um, I mean, some communities can get through it by doing just the PFP because that's what they've always been. Um, but if we're really going to use the, the, because at the end of the day, uh, NFT is just a token, it, get rid of the picture, get rid of anything. It's just a token. So what can we do with that token? And that's what we're really trying to push. What can we do? You know, take away what the brand is, but what can you do with the token? If you have the proper devs and the tech is supported on that network. Uh, so yeah, we're 2023 is going to be very interesting to see what can be done. And I agree 100%. Just keep doing more, keep giving back, and in return, I think uh, you can't you can't lose. I mean, you just can't. As you know, we're, we're so, us uh, as well. We have a validator on Tori on Chihuahua, so we're participating in the ecosystem in that way to secure the network on top of securing funds. And uh, yeah, we're really raising the bar for 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 everyone, and that's the way we should keep it. And uh, we're glad to have you in the ecosystem, uh, raising the bar for everyone. Um, so guys, if you guys have any questions for us, uh, you guys can either put them in the general Superman's going to go over, uh, the questions and, uh, and ask away. All Superman, right. do you have any questions in the, the general? Nothing yet. Uh, maybe check if somebody is raising their hands, wants to come on stage. Yeah. If you guys want to come on stage and ask uh, some questions, just raise your hand. I'll invite you up. So in the yes, meantime, while we wait for and the questions, um, I'm just going to go over the, the gigantic lottery, which is going to be right after uh, the AMA. So we're going to be moving over to the voice channel and I'm going to share my screen. So obviously the DAP is not ready for the gigantic lottery yet. So we're going to be using the, the random number generator inside of uh, the channel to pick the winner today. Um, so now one more thing, guys, on the marketplace, I see that there's still uh, 399 punks listed, which is only 3.9%, which is... Uh, not that much, but if the winner is picked today and he's on the marketplace, well, somebody can snipe him and pick him off the marketplace and he's the one that's going to get the reward. So uh, I highly suggest enlisting your, your punks of the marketplace before we do the draw because there's a 21-day unbonding period until March 7th uh, until we remove it. So during that 21-day unbonding, anybody that wants to uh, sell the winning punk or, or just keep it in his wallet, well, if it is on the marketplace and somebody picks it up, he's the one that's going to get the reward. So, uh, you know, I see some here at 150 Tory. It would really suck if that's the winner of 17,000 Tories and somebody snatches him up for 150 Tories and then he's going to get the reward. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I mention it often. I put it in the announcements. I'm saying it again here on the AMA. So, guys, unlist your punks because I'm, I'm telling you, if you guys had the winning punk and, you, and somebody buys him for 150 Tories, you guys are going to regret it, man. So, uh, 
I would unlist them as quickly as possible. Superman, do you have any questions? Uh, Phantom is asking if the draw is today. Yes, Phantom, the draw is today. Uh, Barto is asking uh, again to uh, when's the evil skellies? The evil skellies will not be, <clears throat> like we've said in, in the chat multiple times, is that the evil skellies won't be for uh, the, the burn process will come sooner, but the evil skelly reveal where you can burn your ship for a skelly will not be for at least, what is it, the 15th? I would say at least 30 days because our artist is working on everything. And yeah, I would say at least 30 days for the evil skellies. Um, we are going to, like I said, the process for burning is going to be coming sooner than expected. So uh, plan accordingly. And then from there, you will be able to burn spaceships, hopefully 15 to 30 days later um, for the skellies. And hopefully that answers that. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Can the same Tory Punk win in multiple months? Uh, the King, yes. Uh, the, it's random, right? So if, if you're lucky enough to get your number picked twice, uh, month after month, it's a possibility that you can win it twice, yes. Yeah, highly unlikely, but yes, it's uh, very possible. Uh, I don't see any more questions for now. If there's no but, more questions, uh, Superman, um, I know you had a special announcement concerning the MetaWawa collection uh, that we've been teasing uh, all week. Maybe you can do those announcements uh, right away. Absolutely. All right, guys. So <clears throat> as you all know, uh, we've been teasing all week about the about the MetaWawas. So... MetaWawa is probably one of the most highly anticipated collections of 2023. Uh, we believe uh, MetaWawa will raise the bar for all future collections on both its utility and how the community will interact with, with these NFTs. Today, I'm here to announce that the MetaWawa campaign will be, will be officially starting tomorrow, Monday, the 16th of January. With this campaign launch, uh, we will be starting daily rumbles for whitelist opportunities. So every day we'll be running Rumbles uh, starting tomorrow. And uh, for all you Crew 3 quest grinders, make sure to check quests daily as uh, we're also going to be having whitelist opportunities there for all the top uh, leaderboards. Uh, and now uh, FYI, to all our loyal Cyber Wawa and Cyber Wawa zombies, you guys are going to get uh, first dibs on uh, the whitelist. So if you guys go check your roles, uh, I think GG updated you guys to have a role uh, whitelist Metawawa. So if you guys could go check. Yeah, uh, I gave uh, the majority of the premiums and the zombies, they all got uh, the whitelist role and I'll be opening the wallet collector channel uh, shortly after the AMA so that you guys can go and submit your Juno address. All right, so that's it. Yeah, I see people here reacting that they got it. So uh, like Gigi said, he installed the, he installed the bot under the Metawawa section in our Discord. So that's it. So uh, MetaWawa is coming, guys. So uh, keep your eyes peeled on announcements. Uh, whatever we just spoke about here, we'll be posting it there. And uh, that's it, guys. So uh, I'm really excited to be launching this collection. This collection is going to be uh, the fusion of uh, three big communities of uh, Chihuahua, Passage, and AAA. And uh, honestly, uh, it's been a long time coming. And uh, we're really, really excited about this collection. Yeah, and we oh. saw a bunch of sneak peeks of the Wowaverse, and uh, guys, uh, whatever Passage is building is uh, absolutely insane, and uh, we're we're actually honored to be a part of uh, of the collection next to the Strange Clan, and uh, we're blessed to be uh, to actually have the chance to do this collection with them. So uh, I'm super excited about it, and uh, yeah, we're going to be talking a lot about Meta Wawa for the next uh, coming month. Crypto for life. Uh, you're asking why it's on Juno. The reason it's on Juno is because Passage, uh, the Passage Marketplace, is on uh, is on Juno. So, guys, if uh, you guys don't have any more questions, uh, maybe uh, final statements, and then uh, then we go to the lottery. Yeah, Inji, do you have some uh, closing uh, closing thoughts before we uh, move over to the lottery? Farewell message. Sorry, were you did you say something to me? My dog was barking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna end the AMA. Move over to that. Okay, some yeah. Final, some final uh, thoughts. Or... Yeah, no, I'm just saying, uh, you guys enjoy your week, and um, like what we always say, I try to tell people, you know, make someone's week. And I'm not trying to show my project anymore, but there's a lot of negativity in Cosmos right now. Uh, you guys see it. Just 
make someone's day. You guys have been doing a great job giving them back to the community. I think that goes a little unnoticed and underappreciated. So keep doing what you're doing as founders. And if you're someone in the crowd, just if you can anytime, make someone's day and it, it all comes back to you tenfold in the future. So guys, you have an incredible morning, afternoon, evening, and good luck on your lottery draw. Thanks, EJ. And if you want, uh, EJ, you can post your Discord link in the general so that if people want to come and join your Discord to see what's going on with the, the Space Kellys, uh, feel free to leave it in the general, please. All right, will do. I'll leave that in there. And then sounds like I need to grab myself some uh, some more Tory punks or whatever you <laughs> devise. So <laughs> I got a. I was actually like looking at my trying to get uh, funds transferred to Tory, but my damn internet won't load. So <laughs> I'll uh, shoot you a message, and then we'll go from there. Perfect. Because also now where it's the the gigantic lottery is the first game. We got the early punks that's starting on uh, March seventh, but after that we got the Russian roulette that's coming. Where basically we're going to be selling five thousand tickets. Out of those five thousand tickets, we're going to sell. Uh, we're going to sell. There's two thousand five hundred winners that are going to uh, distribute it equally the rewards of the Russian roulette. And after that, we even have in uh, Q2 2023 the raffle game that's coming. So the Tory punks, uh, they're still very low uh, the floor. Uh, obviously, it's expensive in Tory because uh, we minted at forty three Tories, but in USD we're still a bit below the the mint price. So they're still very cheap. There's not many left, as you can see, only 3.9%. So, uh, yeah, guys, jump on these, and uh, we're going to move over to the voice channel, and we're going to end uh, the AMA today. So uh, make sure to come to the voice channel. I'm going to do the draw live. Make sure to enlist your punk, and uh, let's go, guys. There's 17,000 Tories on the line. Have a good day, everybody. See you, guys. All right, Ciao. take care. Thanks a lot, EJ.